All right, everyone. So today we're back at the Salty Dog again, but um, today we're gonna do something interesting. This time we're taking, uh, oh, it looks like they got a new vacuum. No, not a new vacuum. I don't know. Um, but whatever it is, we're gonna uh, do a close-up view of their car wash. So uh, let's go for the one on the right because it's just them. And the North Bay is still uh, going. So, as, so once this guy's done, uh, we're gonna walk through it, and then we'll do the close-up view. So I'll see you guys in just a second. It says drive in. I don't know why. Just try driving in and see what happens. Like the 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 enter light just randomly turned on. Yeah, that's weird. I haven't. Done did anything. did Rick activate the wash? I don't know. I'm gonna find out. Oh my gosh. It's actually turning on. Oh my goodness. Free. It must be giving us a free wash, which is really kind. Yeah. But it's gonna make it hard for you to do anything. Oh man. I mean, we could just go through twice. Okay. So yeah, I guess. <laughs> free car wash. Well, let's find out what wash package this is. <laughs> Guess just by watching. Okay, so first of all, it's bug buster, so it's higher than the um, basic. Not, yeah. Oh, and also, he, uh, Salty Dog put up new banana foamers right there. Oh, nice. Banana and on that foamer. side, too. What's a banana foamer? It, um, the the extra foamers on the uh, other side. You'll you'll see it when it comes along to the front. Okay. It's basically foamers that are kind of in the shape of a banana. So a foamer is that like a spray? Yeah, it's. Oh. Okay. So you see those foamers that are just on the outside of the wash, like, like yeah, Justin. right about there. Oh, oh, those are the banana foamers. So they're curved. Yeah. So banana. and they're clear. Yeah. I didn't expect that. Okay, so obviously this is higher than the. Um, uh, so this is either twelve or fifteen dollar wash. They must have been watching. They must have been. That's so nice of them. To say thank you. Oh yeah, definitely. They gave us the twelve dollar. Mm. Well, you had said at least here at the Salty Dog that the twelve dollar wash is the best because there's more passes of soap. It's best for your money. Yeah, twelve dollars is the best value. But if you're uh, looking for all the protective products, definitely go for the fifteen dollar. Oh okay. See, there's a lot of foam on that hinge right there. <laughs> and there's all foam dripping down on this side. I certainly did not expect that. Yeah. Oh, we're getting more wax. Oh. Yeah, this is the cold wax. Blue coral cold wax. to see, but the rocker blasters are going on right now. Holy cow, look at how much foam is on the side. It looks like it's It does look like 
like right there too. <laughs> it's not at Christmas time. They still have the original um, Autec foamers. This is the drying agent. Well, that was certainly unexpected. Took a long time to turn off. Go. I am. Okay, sorry. I'm exiting slowly. Exit slowly. <laughs> yeah, and I forgot to mention in my previous video, there's irregular vibration in, in the one of the blower motors. So he has to replace one of the impellers. So that that's wa that's wash number one. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna walk through it now. Okay. Uh, just it one second, like, guys. Oh, it looks like John. Uh, no, Rick and his friend are here. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna walk through it now. All right. So let's walk through the car wash now. So first thing you have is the pre-soak uh, foam bath arch. And then um, your undercarriage. Here is your first set of brushes. Here's your um, high pressure spray nozzles. Um, this is the banana foamers I was talking about. This is retrofitted, which I think is pretty cool. Um, there's the sump right there. Other brush. Here's the other high pressure sprayer. There's one at the top and that. And then the overhead boom. Uh, Autech Evolution logo. Emitters. Uh, soft, th these are soft closed cell cloth. Um, here's your rocker blasters, uh, f photo eyes to size the car. Here's your Autec logo. Here's your treadle plates. Um, lots of foam. Here are the front brushes, uh, front side sprayers, more foamers. Uh, LED rainbow light up there, and then the wall of foam right there. Front brushes, or other front brush. Um, over here on this side, this air hose is for the, to trigger the back up. So yeah, then you have the Rain-X, this is the Rain-X arch, um, the bug buster. This is the back up and so what, what this does is it senses if the car is too far forward and it will make sure that the treadles don't activate, say, um, when your car is pulling too far forward. Sorry, the attendant was looking at me. Anyway, here's the ceramic sealant arch and the spot-free rinse. Um, 
This is the, I'm pretty sure this is the arch timeout art, uh, sensor. Not, not quite sure what that is. I'll have to ask Jonathan later. Um, but here's the tire shine. Same thing on the other side. Here's the rinse timer. Not sure if that's an Autech part or not. Here are the McNeil Tech 21s. Can see all that up there. Tire shine, um, flasher, signage. So yeah, let's go through it. It's about to head in. There we go. Drive forward. 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 This is the drying agent. 